All right, good morning, everyone, family and friends. It is day three of my Seneca Creek backcountry trip, Wednesday, June 21st. It's about 6.40 a.m. And happy solstice, the longest day of the year. And today, I got about 10 miles and uh, just had two cups of coffee. And I'm boiling a cup of water for my uh, oatmeal, which is a strawberry pecan oatmeal with chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp hearts, goat milk powder, which is a cool ingredient, and uh, brown sugar. I gotta pack up. It rained sporadically. Like it would rain for five, 10 minutes and stop. And then an hour later, five and 10 minutes and stop. This morning, I'm headed that way. I'm gonna cross the creek first thing, so I'll be changing my shoes over there where that rock is. And the fire was great. I'm gonna douse it with water before I leave. A lot of campers don't, it's completely irresponsible. But anyway, uh, I slept like a rock. I gotta pack up my gear and uh, head up. So Allegheny Mountain via the Horton Trail today. Got a little couple mile road rock, and then back on uh, Spring Ridge Trail to Judy's Springs. All right. Talk All to you right. Uh, good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, 621. Happy solstice. And I packed up my camp and left no trace. I had a great time there, very relaxing. Ate a lot of food. Seneca Creek. A camper pulled in last night sometime and I'm heading up to the Horton Trail which means I got a thousand foot climb and then it gets easier but uh, I'm heading to Judy Springs so I'm kind of doing this big U and what else um, my pack is lighter less wine less food um, my body is more nourished and I'm very rested, and I just got to take it one mile at a time. All right, I'll be touching base once in a while. And good morning, everyone. It's uh, Tuesday, day three of my six-day, five-night backpacking trip in West Virginia in the beautiful Seneca backcountry. And I just finished a thousand foot climb from Seneca Creek up to the Allegheny Mountain Trail and I'm going to continue on the Horton Trail which is down there and it looks like I got a descending hike which we much appreciate I'm hoping to burn some time I left at nine o'clock it's a little bit later than I'd like I like to be on the trail by eight at the latest but I'm gonna have some pepperoni um, I brought a stick and when I go to West Virginia I always bring pepperoni because they have this amazing snack, sandwich, whatever you want to call it, called a pepperoni roll. And it's really good. It's like, a, it's almost like a hot pocket with pita, but they use like regular bread or, or roll bread. I don't know what they use, but anyway, um, I'm going to take a little break here. Uh, it's been a good day so far. Weather's nice. Okay, it's a little after 11 a.m. I'm descending the Horton Trail down to County Road 29, I think it's called. But uh, the reason I pulled out the camera to film is, see this creek here? The water looks super clean, I'm pretty sure it is. And I'll tell you why. Because as I was descending the intersection of Allegheny Mountain and Horton Trail, <clears throat> I found the headwaters of this creek. Very small trickle got bigger and bigger and then for the last 30 minutes there was no water the creek went subterranean for quite some distance like a half a mile so that's really cool that creeks can just like disappear even though there's a creek bed I'm sure in a flood the whole thing flows but right now there's a section of this creek that goes subterranean 
telling me that this water is most likely very clean and very cold. And I'm heading that way. I don't know, I think I got like a mile to uh, the road. All righty, it's 12.47, Monday, June 21st. And I just finished the Horton Trail, descended 1,100 feet and two and a half miles. Took me a little longer than I had hoped. And I've uh, still got a good chunk of mileage left. I am willing to hike till seven o'clock, but I got a two, 2.3 road walk going left, which would be south. And then I got to pick up Spring Ridge and basically go back up to Allegheny Mountain, pick up the Allegheny Mountain Trail to the Bear Hunters Trail and descend to Judy Springs. That's a long hike, that's 10 miles, but uh, we'll see. You know, I, I built flexibility and options in this. I got a day that I didn't even plan, so um, yeah. So anyway, gotta go. All right, it's a warm uh, Tuesday. I don't know, it's probably 75 degrees. No wind, no clouds, blue sky day. I am on the Spring Ridge Trail. I have about two, two and three quarter miles to get back to the Allegheny Trail. Um, basically, I'm, I went up Allegheny Mountain, down it, now I'm going back up it, and then I'm going back down it. That's kind of crazy, but once I get to the Allegheny Trail, I have 1.2 miles south on the Allegheny Trail. I'm gonna pick up the Bear Hunters Trail, which is only a mile long to Judy Springs, where I'm promptly gonna sit up my chair and have a sip of whiskey. All right. Hello everyone, uh, it's Michael and it is Tuesday, June 21st, about four o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm on the last mile of the Spring Ridge Trail. It's been a really nice trail. Uh, just this old logging road that's quite well crafted. Now it's <clears throat> returning back to the wilderness, but um, I didn't film any sections previously on this trail, so I'm gonna do a little stretch, got a little meadow, which is the first one on this trail. This is tick country. I haven't seen a single tick on this trip, but these grassy areas, famous for ticks. But I have permethrin on all my clothes, packs, tent, what have you. I did bring some Picardin, if I'm saying that correctly. But uh, yeah, I'm on top of the ridge now. I'm gonna hook up with the Allegheny Trail. Follow that for uh, 1.2 miles and then take one mile down on the Bear Hunters Trail to Judy, Judy's Gap. And uh, yeah, pretty warm out in these open areas but the weather's gorgeous. I just found a little mini Garmin GPS thing, small, like the size of a Zippo lighter. And I was gonna take it with the intention of going on Facebook hiking groups to try to find the owner. I did pass a husband and wife about 15 minutes ago that were doing a day hike. I'd passed them earlier on the Horton Trail. They're doing a loop. And uh, I walked a few steps, like, no, I'm gonna put it back. It was resting on a log, big log. And um, I decided to put it back in case 
they realized it and because they were day hiking, they might come back and try to pick it up. But I don't know, it was a tough call. But onward, hiking onward and upward. Okay, it's uh, about 10 after 5, Tuesday, June 21st, solstice, longest day of the year. I am on the Allegheny Trail. No, excuse me, Allegheny Mountain Trail. There's, there's another trail called Allegheny Trail. They're different. Um, saw a deer a little while ago. Um, I got about a mile to Bear Hunter's Trail another mile to Judy Springs. I think I said Judy Gap the last last video, but uh, man, I'm a little bit knackered, but I'm hanging in there. So I just wanted to share a little bit of the Allegheny Mountain Trail, Seneca Creek backcountry. Okay. I'm at the Bear Hunter Trail, where it intersects with the Allegheny Mountain Trail. I'm gonna be heading down this trail right there. And I've seen quite a few of these clearings, and I'm pretty sure I know what they are. Back in the heyday of logging, whether it was draft horses or trains or both, or even old trucks back in the 20s, these are clearings, and I've seen several of them. I'm going to focus in on it real better. There we go. Um, is where they would stage the logs. And you see that in modern day logging where there'll be big piles of logs waiting to go wherever. The wood mill. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, one mile to Judy Springs. Man, this has been a long day, but I've, when I get to Judy Springs, I'll set out and accomplish exactly what I had planned, which I've done the last three days as well. So I'm pretty psyched and I'm looking forward to some Jack Daniels. Home sweet home. It's 635 Tuesday and I arrived at Judy Springs where I'm going to be spending the night. I was here in the third week of April for three days and it snowed all three days and more than six inches of snow. But I really just want to chill. I wouldn't mind taking a dip in the creek if I can find a spot. But uh, yeah, isn't that pretty? I camped over there in April. Not there, but over there. And I don't see a soul. I'm not surprised for a Tuesday. Just with Saturday or Sunday to be packed jam-packed all right I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take a bath I'm, I might just settle for that campsite right there see see it yeah that's my new home yay all right it's about 8 25 in the evening I have settled in at Judy Springs campsite and uh, another dirty fire pit. But there's my tent. There's Seneca Creek. I had some uh, pulled pork, North Carolina slash Mexican style. Meaning I had North Carolina pork with vinegar based barbecue sauce. But I added black beans and dehydrated, no, sauteed chilies. Uh, jalapeno chilies and red bell pepper. Really good. It's kind of like Mexican pork tuna fish. And I had pita bread to go with it. So no cooking for me tonight because I'm tired. I did 10 and a half miles. I'm going to settle in. In my lovely heel knocks. I got some Jack Daniels in there. Yes, there are some in there. And uh, yeah. Yeah. 